Mike Abbott has revived the art of chair bodging. Now there's a man who knows the real value of wood. Here we have a coppice stool. This is um, a tree that was cut down 18 years ago and put out several shoots, as is happening again now here with the neighbouring hazel. A wonderful combination of uh, water, of which Britain is usually well endowed, carbon dioxide, which is regarded as a waste product. Mix the two together using the little green solar panels, which we call leaves, and one has the most beautiful form of energy creation. And so we've got the whole time this, well, from Easter to Halloween, this thing is producing away, producing material, which we're able to then harness for, for energy, for cooking, for warmth, and to make things out of. It's just the most amazing product. Fresh green ashwood is the basic raw material Mike Abbott uses to build furniture in his summer school for would-be chair bodgers. The craft of the chair bodger arose on the back of the Industrial Revolution, so while people were moving from the country into the towns, they all needed very cheap, simple uh, um, furniture. And so uh, these people called chair bodgers, who were working away on pole lays in the woods, especially around the Chilterns, were knocking out chair legs by the, by the thousand. Um, and it was really only into the 20th century that the, the coppice crafts started dying out, and especially after the First World War, machinery started to come in. A lot of the coppice crafts had died out. The split is running slightly off to one side, so we want to try and correct... And the big breakthrough was the hurricane in 87, when Start people realised that didn't trees didn't last forever, and when suddenly stockbrokers couldn't get out of their houses because there were these damn That's trees in the way. The stock market crashed three days later, um, and trees had, had made their presence felt. So from 1987, things have been on the up very much.